Hi everybody, I'm Jacob and this is Sam and we're from Science for Kids. Woo! Thanks for joining us today. Today we're looking at sound energy. Sam, do you know some things that make sound? Yeah. Okay. A harmonica makes sound. A harmonica. <laughs> Woo! Oh, very good. What else? A beer bottle. You're too young for beer, Sam. <laughs> Ooh, blowing air across a beer bottle makes sound. Ooh, that's a nice noise. What else makes sound, Sam? A pan. Okay, And pan. a wooden spoon. Oh, look at that. That makes a very loud, sharp sound, doesn't it? A metal fork. A and metal fork? And... Okay. With a screwdriver. Oh, I think you can do that a bit louder. Let's have a look. Ooh. There we go. I might actually try something, Sam. Mm -hmm. If I go like that, oh, and put it in the wood, we can hear it really well. Let's start, go again. <laughs> can you hear that? Yeah. Yeah. Do you know why this is making sound, Sam? I'll give you a hint, and we'll put it near the water. Oh! Whoa. <laughs> Did you see that? Yeah. What happened? The it made the water go all spluttering? Yes, it made the water go all spreading. Because, whoa, look at that. Look at the vibration. Woo! Whoa, look at that vibration. Woo! Now, when I put, when I put the tuning fork in this wood, it causes the wood to vibrate. It makes sound energy. The vibrating object makes sound energy. Do you want me to put it under your nose, Sam? You feel this? Come here. <laughs> You want me to put it on your hand? <laughs> it's more fun under your nose. <laughs> that feels weird, doesn't it? Yeah. Right? What about if I put it near the rice? Oh! Oh, wow, look at that! Okay, bring it to him. Whoa! Look at that vibration sound. Woo! How good is that? Oh! Sam! That's amazing! Sound is produced by a vibrating object. Now, I've got a beautiful little musical instrument here. Yeah. Yeah? So, you turn it, and it makes some music. Is that loud? No. No, it's not loud, is it? But let's put it on the wood and turn it. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. How does that work? Yeah. There's like a, a bit of a piano thing. There's like a piano? There's chords in there. Okay. And when you turn it, it makes sound. Okay. So, as that silver drum turns around, it's got little knobs on it. And those little knobs pluck. Pluck those different lengths of metal. See the metal comb there? Mm -hmm. And when they're plucked, they make sound. The long ones make what's called a low frequency sound and the short ones make a high frequency sound and together you can make them play music. Isn't that beautiful sound? Mm -hmm. We've got some different tuning forks here. The small one makes a high frequency sound Oh, hear that high frequency sound? Ow. That's a high frequency sound. And the long one makes a low frequency sound. This is 500 hertz. This is the speaker going backwards and forwards 500 times a second. So inside this box is a speaker and that speaker goes in and out 500 times a second. Let's go to 100 hertz. Oh, hear the 100 hertz speaker? Ooh. That's got a low frequency or a low pitch. You wanna hear a high pitch? Oh. That's a thousand hertz, that's a very high frequency. Now let me show you something. Let me show you the speaker, and you'll be able to put some rice. You'll be able to put some rice on it. Okay, I got some rice. Oh, 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 look at that rice jump around. Oh, look at the rice dancing sand. Yeah. It shows the vibration of the speaker. 
the speaker's going up and down, up and down, and you can see the rice dancing to it. The dancing rice. Oh, wow. That is so good. If I increase the volume, the, the speaker moves in and out more and more. If I increase the volume, look how they dance and jump out because the speaker's going up and down even more when the volume's really loud. So when the volume's loud, it jumps up and down. When the volume's soft, it goes up and down a little bit. How does sound travel? We're surrounded by air molecules. Can you see the air molecules all around us, Sam? No. No, you can't because they're so small. They're invisible. They're invisible. But these ping pong balls are not invisible. No. No. And these ping pong balls represent the air molecules around us. And if I make sound at this side, have a look, Sam. If I make sound at this side, look at what the ball up the end does. The ball up the end moves. The sound travels, the sound travels by pushing on the next molecule along. And so it travels from my voice, my voice box, to your ear. Oh, pass me the ear, Sam. Oh, can you speak up? I can't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hello. So when Sam makes a noise with his voice, the molecules move backwards and forwards. Can you make a sound with your voice? Oh, well, move backwards and forwards. The sound waves, the movement goes into the eardrum, and the eardrum moves backwards and forwards, and that causes electrical signals to go to the brain. And it's all carried by vibrations. I've got another example for you, Sam. I've got a slinky. Now, Sam, you hold the slinky over there, put it down on the ground, and this wire represents the air, the air molecules. And I'm going to do a vibration here. Whoa! Did you see that? No! Oh, did you see how the air molecules travel? They go bum 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 bum. They bump into each other. That's it. Yeah. It's called a longitudinal wave. It's called a compression wave. Sound is a form of energy. Energy makes things happen. Energy causes change. A change over here causes a change over here. The energy travels through the spring. That's just what sound energy does. Sound energy can be changed from one form to, to another. another. That's right. I've got a transformation here. I've got a special pipe. I've got a special pipe. And in that pipe, I've got some wire. And I've got something amazing that's going to happen. Oh, no, it's gonna I've, got some chemical, I've got some chemical potential energy that will get changed to heat. And then that heat will get changed to kinetic energy. wire causes the hot air to rise that's a little bit like it's a little bit like that sound the air rising and coming out sound is like a vibration that bumps backwards and forwards okay sound bumps backwards and forwards backwards and forwards backwards and forwards backwards and forwards and sound can be traveled in wood sound can be traveled in air sound can be traveled in Water. Do you know how fast sound travels? Uh, this afternoon, remember what I did? Yeah. Remember I, I, I went for a long walk and then I held up two bits of wood and then I clapped them? Did you notice that you saw me clapping the wood before you heard the wood? Mm -hmm. did, you, did you notice that you heard me clapping the wood together before you heard the sound? Yeah. Here, watch this in slow motion. And you can see that I clap the wood, and then you hear the wood. That's because light travels a lot faster than sound. Sound travels at 330 meters per second in air. How fast, Sam? 330 meters per meter. second. Every second it travels 330 meters. So sound energy has the ability to cause change. Sound energy can cause change. Oh, very good. Sam is going to make a noise into the microphone and he's going to produce some electricity with the sound. Do a whistle. Look at that. Sam is changing sound energy 
into electrical energy, and that's what we Ooh. can see on the screen. Look at that beautiful sinusoidal curve. Ah, sound wave. Woo! Oh, you want to have a look at that? Very good, Sam. Well, thanks so much for joining us today, learning about sound energy. We've got a number of other videos on energy, which you should definitely check out. Mm -hmm. And until next time, happy doing and learning science. Bye for now.